Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we need to look at some again some of the most amazing historical vintage pictures which some of you guys have grew up as children and we have to reminisce in some of the good times of the past. We're gonna start off with this first one. This is Lucy Lawless and Kevin Sorbo as Senna and Hercules. Now these TV shows literally marked my childhood and I'm pretty sure some of you guys it's one of the best TV shows in history because they were funny, they had action, they had such a good sense of humor and they were genuinely very legendary characters. Now I cannot believe I'm seeing this but this is genuinely a family bicycle 1939. This is crazy, I don't know how this even works or if it's even possible to have this but apparently people used to use these things and you can see here the mother is actually working on the station while the kids and the father are driving the bicycle so that is just absolute insanity but apparently it used to work. This is a Soviet soldier in a GTSM amphibious tracked vehicle feed two polar bears with condensed milk. Tins during a routine military expedition in Kuchi Peninsula in the Soviet Union in 1950. So apparently polar bears love to have milk. This one is an interesting one. So these are the winners of Miss Perfect Posture Contest at the Kirocrafters Convention. All three picked by their beauty, their x-rays and standing posture. Each girl stood on pair of scales, one foot to each and winning trio each registered half her weight on each scale, confirming correct standing posture in 1956. So this apparently is the right way of standing for women. Interesting, isn't it? A very old picture, but at the same time, very interesting picture of Prince Charles, who now is the king of UK, during his fifth birthday at the Buckingham Palace in 1953. Very, very interesting. And you can see the boy is handling that massive old knife by himself. Now, I wouldn't trust the kid with a knife, but apparently in the royal family, that is normal to let a child use that gigantic knife all by himself. This is Helen, a Native American telephone and switchboard operator working at Manny Glacier Hotel, Manny Glacier Hotel, Min Montana, 1925. Many Native Americans after the modernization of America had to quit living in their tribes and have to effectively kind of integrate in the modern world because living outside was becoming more and more difficult because of lack of hunting material and of course the industrialization and the lack of land because the land was claimed by the colonists from other continents which are now the current Americans. This person is shouting traitor, a flag-waving colonel of the Soviet army confronts a pro-democracy demonstrator at a May Day parade on Red Square in 1990. That's right, many old Soviet army people, soldiers and you know, colonels, whatever, generals, whatever you call them, were not happy with the democracy movement because they liked the Soviet way. And this is exactly what we are seeing here the old and the new. This guy is even more crazy, so you may not know it, but in the 1980s there was quite a big tension in the Soviet countries because they didn't want to be controlled by the Soviet Union anymore. This on August the 23rd, 2 million people in Lithuania, Estonia and Latvia held hands and formed a human chain of 675.5 kilometers, protesting against the Soviet oppression and their desire to escape communism. Guys, this is crazy, just imagine that massive line of people, all of them wanting one thing, freedom and independence from a regime which would impact their freedom of speech. However, as you can see it in today's day, now freedom of speech is limited by the big tech media companies and not by politicians, which is potentially even worse. This is the legendary and famous ballerina Giuseppina Molarci in 1868, the year she introduced the scandalous Can Can to America. You know, that famous dance in America which got really popular by the start of the 20th century. Now just imagine for a second having school in the open air surrounded by trees, in nature, listening to birds and having fresh water. This is exactly what these kids were doing in an open air school in Netherlands in 1957. Education at its best, with nature and breathing fresh air and of course your brain is much more able to learn in that sort of relaxed environment. A tribute to Angela Lansbury attends the murder she wrote 
100th episode gala at the Biltmore Hotel in Los Angeles, California in 1989. May she rest in peace because she has recently passed away and she was one of the most influential TV show actresses in the world. Her TV show, Murder, She Wrote, is literally very, very popular and people of all ages knew her, know her or have known her. This photo is during the bombing in the Second World War, members of the public being entertained by an NSA, Entertainment National and Service Association concert party in Aldwych Station during the London Blitz. That's right, just imagine for a second, your life gets turned upside down because there's bombing going on out and you have to run to the subway and stay there for hours, for days, who knows how many days and effectively try to escape the bombing. That is just quite crazy, guys, isn't it? But that happened in the past to your grandparents or even to your parents. Now, this one is a shocking one. Greenpeace here is trying to stop radioactive waste disposal in the ocean in 1982. I don't know what kind of like measures they use that, if they recur to violence or not, I have no idea, but this picture says quite a lot of things. Bruce McCandles floating in space untethered doing the mission STS-41B. McCandles was a principal designer of NASA's MMO jetpack. Now, this was in 1984. You may believe this is true. Obviously, some of you guys believe this is fake. The picture itself the astronaut looks quite photoshopped in 1984 because as you guys remember and still know there's a big controversy and discussions and debates about what NASA actually does and is the information that they give to us tr trustworthy is the information from them true or not because there's many reasons to believe that they are effectively an organization which is trying to fool people or give people false information because of the way they've been caught in the past with data manipulation, photoshopping and many more video editing techniques. This is an Eskimo medicine man exercising evil spirits from a sick boy apparently in Nushakak, Alaska 1924 and this was quite common back in the day. Medicine people would wear masks and different gloves and different clothing effectively to scare off an evil spirit by them showing that they are more scary than the evil spirit itself. I know it doesn't make any sense but back in the day when technology and knowledge was very limited people used these things to effectively try to convince themselves that they are doing something to protect their family or their friends from these particular evil spirits. Here we have a war veteran selling matches on the street in Canterbury, Kent, 1928. And this is the sad thing about war veterans. They fight in the war, they sacrifice themselves, and then after that, the government gives them a crappy pension which doesn't even allow them to survive as decent human beings. And that is just absolutely not acceptable. They should be given more because they literally sacrificed their lives and some of them lost some of their limbs just fighting for their nation. Now this one is a chopper bicycle. These bicycles were very popular back in the day and this was from 1971. The chopper bicycles were a new way of expressing your, I would say, love for the 80s, the music, the rock music. So this was just, just that, an example of people trying to stand out with their new bicycles, with new models and with very interesting designs. Here we have Linda Carter during the London Miss World in 1972 pageant. She is very, very fit. Another famous person, this is Tina Louise uh, by Peter Bash in 1960s. Tina Louise was a very popular actress back in the day and especially because of her good looks and also participating in some very interesting dramas and comedy shows. Here we have Elvis Presley and his mother Gladys in 1956, photographed by the Harrington Collection, colorized. And this one is pretty interesting because here you can see that the mother of Elvis Presley, they were very, very similar in terms of their face, their shape, like the eyes, the cheeks, like it was super similar. Like you put them face to face and you can tell they're so, so similar. So this photo is very interesting because you can see the genetical um, similarity of Elvis with his mother. And guys, to finish off this collection of videos, another tribute photo for Angela Lansbury. This is, again, a very cool photo of her back in 1982-1983, during the time she was doing the TV shows. And, and guys, that's it for today's video. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel and, of course, activate the notification bell because it does help the channel and your like does support the channel for more uploads and to get noticed on YouTube as well. And 
see you guys of course in the next upload bye